everyone uh, this is my first video blog i would say so what i'm going to show you is um, my home theater setup over here so let me start so uh, basically uh, what my setup over here is like i have pc up above as you can see this is the xbox and this is the sd sun direct for tv viewing and this is the uh, wd player where, like which which plays almost everything like from blu ray to general cd rips and everything and this is my router which i bought newly this is the asus router this is a very much powerful router uh, as far as i know and behind is a modem from bsnl and i have a hard disk uh, this is network hard disk io my hard disk uh, this is connected to the router so this av receiver okay so what this does is like it gets input from all the devices which i have all the multimedia devices which i have and it will give the output correspondingly so what i have done over here is there will be an input from the pc so there will be a hdmi cable running over here there are many cables over here so there will be hdmi cable running over here so that, that will come to here um, so that's from the pc that will be hdmi 1 so that's that's one input the next input will be uh, from this wd player over here so that will be the next input and the third one will be from xbox and i have one more fourth input for my laptop which i have left it over here so my laptop has an output of video port so i have to convert this hdmi into video port adapter because my la my laptop has video port output only so that i, I will connect whenever i want over here so those are the four inputs which this AV receiver will be receiving. So, um, so then the output. Output what I have is like one is my PC, like my, this is a 22 inch old uh, monitor. So this is this is the this is one of the output, and the next one will be the projector. By default, the audio is connected, like uh, all my 5.1 speakers, all the energy speakers, one, two, and over there, two speakers are there, so you can see, those two, and uh, this is a center speaker. So all these are connected to this one, by default. So, so audio output will be to all these five speakers, which is energy speaker, and video output, either I can choose over there, like to the projector, or I can choose this. PC. So this is the backup. I am using this um, backup for my PC and also my um, projector as well. Um, I will just show you the projector over here. Yeah, this is the projector. So this is the model HD20 Optima 1. So I have put the power line power card over here, like it's coming up. It's going behind the screen and it's coming down below. So what I have done here is like um, there is one small switch which I have kept over here. If you can see uh, this will control that up down because my PC will be running almost all the time for downloading stuff. So I just added this small switch so that I can switch up the connection to that projector over there. And the next one over there um, uh, that is a step down transformer. So um, I have three things over here like this is my uh, energy speaker like this is the subwoofer for it so this operates in US voltage so this whole set like this is 5.1 speaker energy speaker so for this I need like I mean like I need this student transformer so th this is a lead for that and the second one is um, for my Yamaha AV receiver as you can see over here so this is the AV receiver uh, this is also operating this is also one which operates in US thing because I have bought these two from US so that's the second one so that's going down below and it's coming over there and it goes behind and it's the, the power is coming over here so that is the second one the third one is from my Xbox so from here and it's the adapter over here and then it goes over here so this is also I have bought, this one also I have bought from US. So obviously like Xbox, 
like I don't know, maybe maybe I can replace the adapter over here and I can get um, I don't know, like I don't know, think because because still this point, uh, this, this is the one which converts like uh, from the AC to DC kind of thing, right? So I thought I mean like maybe if you can get this one from India, I mean like maybe that will solve the issue. But still, since I have already have the stable transformer, I thought I'll just use this one. So these are the three things. Uh, this is where the power comes to the Xbox. Okay, before going further, I will show you the remotes. So this remote, uh, this is for the AV receiver. So so I have four HDMI inputs over here. So I can just choose whatever the HDMI I want, and I have many AV AV inputs also available. So uh, these are the AV inputs. Um, like we have many different inputs, right? So HDMI I use, and the AV I use uh, for TV. And other than that, I'll be using just volume button and everything. So here, the same pieces are there, and here that's okay. So these are the inputs. So this is this is the Yamaha uh, AV receivers remote, and this one uh, is for the projector, HD projector. So this has basically just on, and then some kind of over scanning. And here also we have a different like there we can give to HDMI, and here that's I have just used only HDMI one. And for TV, I have used VGA. So anyway, since mine is HD connection, so this is the um, HD projector remote, and this is basic um, Sun Direct remote. And let me check. okay, here I have the WD player remote. So this is one more thing. So I think that's it. First, I will show you for the PC. So. I have the save receiver remote. So number one, which I have given for PC one. So I am using HDMI one. So this is HDMI one, and I have the volume button. So now whatever that is playing in this PC will be coming to this as an input, and that will be taken as an output. So now by default the sound will be from this one. So now I play some songs over here from my PC. So this is now playing from my PC. Since the HDMI one is so, so. So now for the output part, I have to switch on my projector. Like this is this output is coming directly from the PC. So for the projector, now I need to switch on this one. So I'm using this remote to turn my projector. And this is the projector screen. So this is 120 inch screen. I mean like diagonal each 20, 120 inches. Um, the screen is a little bigger, but um, the projection which I have kept over here, it's I think it's around six, eight, eight feet I guess. So being eight feet distance, it will be in 120 inches. I just measured and I have kept it. That's a standard thing uh, for HDI, like for HD twenty projectors. So now I need to switch. So now I will be doing the projection part. So now instead of PC, I will be getting the same over here in this projector. Let me go behind. This will be my viewing distance. So this kind of ready, okay. So now I, I play songs and it will be playing from here. And I can play some movies too, so I'll just put some movie. So this one is from the PC. Then this is running in HDMI 1 and it's coming from the PC. The router is connected from the PC. That will be the plan 1. So PC is getting connected to this router for, for the internet. And this one 2. Yeah, this one 1 is for PC. And 2 is for Blu-ray player. And 3 is for this network hard disk. 
so when I want to play this one I can play it from here since this is connected to the, to the router so from the router this this the movie and everything gets played and even I can see it in the PC since PCs are the kind of way. So whenever wherever I want from even from a laptop also, I will be able to see this hard disk. So that's that's the whole purpose of the network, network hard disk. And the fourth one is I have not used it. I can use it for Xbox Live. Now the configuration is done. The light is okay, and Blu-ray player is also okay. So now let me first check whether. The movies are getting edited. I, I can just see that it also in the PC also. I will just go into the PC and I will check it. Well, yeah, now I can see the files in the network, network disk. So these are, as you can see, I have put some movies over here. All these are HD movies. So all these HD movies everything is in network hard disk so now I'm going to use this one like anyhow it's already on so this is the remote for that one that um, WD player so I'll be using this AV receiver remote and I'll be using HDMI 2 because that's where the input comes from there so so once I put that one now the output is going to the projector and I can see the WD player interface in my projector screen. So now I'll be using this remote. There are different things. As you can see, can I, I can kind of YouTube and everything, I can see the videos here in here. That's of no, not much, not much use. So I have media servers. So in here, in this, I have my network disk. So when I go inside, I'll be able to see videos. And okay, folders, and I can see the movies, HD movies. Maybe I'll put some animation. So now this movie is playing. Let me skip it. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. And while I the So now this movie is playing from my WD player, which is of course a Blu-ray player, and from my hard disk, network hard disk. So Blu-ray player reads the things from the network hard disk and it's playing this movie. No, actually. No, you don't. You know what it's like. From the time it crawl, it's been different. And by default, the audio is coming from the WD player to my AV receiver and the AV receiver does the thing. So let me stop this. Okay, so this is the number two one, and next comes the Xbox. So I'll just switch it on. And let me take my Xbox controller, I'll switch that one as well. So this wireless is getting synced with that one, and it's now in sync. So this one is actually HDMI 3, like that, that's the input. So I'll take this remote and I'll be clicking 3, HDMI 3. So now that input is gone and I'll be getting the Xbox input in the screen. So now I have got the Xbox input. I'm playing currently the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Switch off this one. Okay. So this is the Xbox input. 
and I can use this controller and I can do whatever I want like I can play it from here and I have Kinect also as you can see and I have to plug it here I have this down so if I plug this one I can use this Kinect and I can use it anyhow I will record it later so that's the input and I know I can play Xbox games and number 4 will be for the laptop uh, here we receive this kind of a central hub which gets the input from different media sources and it will by default it will be giving the audio to the speakers that's what this AV receiver does mm. I think 